Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how home inspectors can implement the EcoGuard business model with myself, David Olivas, and our very special guest, Mr. Dallas Jones. So, you're gonna... so in today's agenda, what we're, uh, we're going to talk about the key radon challenges, current radon inspection process, EcoSense solutions for home inspectors, EcoGuard overview, dashboard tutorial, business model examples, EcoSense Referral Club, and then finally, we'll go ahead and do a little uh, Q&A session at the end. So for those of you that might not know Dallas, and I'm sure everybody here knows him, but uh, this is Dallas Jones. He, was, he is our current vice president here at EcoSense. He was the former executive director of the American Association of Radon Scientists and Technologists, in other words, ARST, uh, responsible for increased uh, government awareness of radon and its deadly consequences, as well as a skilled trainer and educator. Dallas, is there something that you'd like to say about yourself? No, I'm just glad to be here. I'm really uh, excited and have been about the, uh, the technology that EcoSense brings to the industry. So glad to be a part of the team. Well, we're glad to have you and, and looking forward to seeing what, what we can do together. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> These are some of the radon, uh, radon challenges that we've you know, heard when talking to mitigators and inspectors and, and, and you know, professionals of all kinds, right? So number one is there's not enough public awareness of radon danger, right? As, as we all know, radon exposure is not elective. It causes 21,000 annual deaths in the US. And surprisingly, it actually accounts for three and a half percent of all cancer deaths in the US. So uh, we know that one in every 15 homes in the US are in trouble. So it's very imperative that people start to know more about radon, the radon dangers. And number two is a fluctuation of radon levels, right? So because of the fluctuations of radon levels, it's crucial to monitor radon levels in a fast and accurate manner. It's important over the short term with our 48 hour test, but it's also important over the long term. Uh, and here at EcoSense, one of the things that we are trying to do is drive towards the best radon tests and measurement practices. This way we can reduce the number of radon cause, cause uh, lung cancer deaths by doing radon testing and monitoring the right way. So just like I was saying um, earlier, radon levels are fluctuating at, at, you know, at a, you know, all the time. Um, as you can see, <clears throat> the, the action level is at four. Right, and for, for the most part, it does stay underneath this uh, four picocuries per liter um, threshold. But if we look closely in the nighttime, right, when people are home most of the time, the levels are spiking all the way up to six in this in this example, right. And as we, you know, as the as the day goes by and we're not home, if the low if the levels are low, then that's fine. But what happens when we're sleeping and we're breathing this stuff in? Our families are in danger and stuff like that. So as you can see here, we have uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly um, data points. And the spikes and the spikes and valleys are, you know, are, are very telling. Um, you know, these basically are telling us a story here um, that even if radon, radon levels stay at a certain um, certain average for, you know, for a while, it's the exposure average that we have to be be worried about. So what do, you, what do you think about this, Dallas? Well, I think it, it, it's important for a couple of reasons to, to, think, to think about the instrument that you're using to measure with, whether it's for a short period, um, you know, testing for a real estate transaction or over the long uh, haul throughout the year. Um, most of the instruments out there that take hourly readings weren't really engineered to to be able to effectively do that so not only are you getting the the swings caused by radon concentrations on their graphs you're also getting the error that's occurring for those individual hourly readings and we'll get to that in just a minute but it's it's, it's because the counting um efficiency or sensitivity of um uh, our competitors units are are just not um, high enough to give a, a worthwhile or valuable hourly reading. They just don't get enough counts um, 
uh, within an hour's time, unless the radon concentration happens to be really, really high. Um, so um, it, it's important to use a quality uh, detector and EcoSense uh, has uh, really the best thing on the market uh, under six or $7,000, that's for sure. It's a great point. Those are all great points, Dallas. Uh, thank you for sharing that. So um, moving on to the current radon inspection process, it's really simple. Um, you find customers, whether that's through real estate agent referrals, Yelp or other review sites, client referrals, online ads, or even word of mouth. Um, and then the next step after that is the actual on-site radon inspection. Using an NRPP or NRSB certified device, um, the radon inspections last about 48 hours. In some states, it's a little bit more. Um, you know, generate and share radon reports, recommend mitigators as a, on a need to, as a needed basis, and then you're done. So the, um, with EcoSense, you can grow your inspection business uh, from each aspect of, of those, right? From pre-inspection, using our EcoLink to find customers. During the radon inspection with our Radon Eye Pro, which is NRPP, NRSB certified. Uh, Post-inspection monitoring with EcoGuard, which is what will be the vocal of this conversation. And then creating new revenue with our referral with EcoSense referral club program. So you're probably thinking, what is EcoSense uh, EcoLink? So the EcoLink is is a way to get discovered by new customers faster and easier. Basically, what we do is, as you can see, we use the EcoCube app to be able to, you know, connect homes that are either high in radon already or people that are you know, interested in finding um, testing for their homes. So some of the pain points with you know, using Yelp, an agent, uh, referral club, or sorry, uh, client referrals, Google ads, or word of mouth is that they're you know, random targets. Everybody kind of gets a little bit of exposure to these ads. They're expensive and they can be labor intense. Whereas our Ecolink, it's ideal for the, for the customer. Um, EcoSense is going to have, it has a nice matching algorithm. The ads will be targeted by area and by, and by client and by customer, and you can customize your ads as well as have re effective return on investment. Moving to our post-service radon monitoring with EcoGuard. Um, some of the challenges with, you know, with not having a long-term monitoring service is it's, it's a one-time job. After the inspection is done, the job is done. Uh, customer safety is still at risk since, as we've, we've seen, radon levels constantly fluctuate. Um, there's no opportunity for building any kind of residual income as well. And the way, uh, what EcoGuard can do for your business is it can create new revenue. It can create a recurring income as well as leave your customer satisfied and, and generate uh, loyal customers with uh, more jobs and you get better reputation. So here I'm gonna hand the mic over to, to Dallas so that I'm not the only one talking uh, on what is EcoGuard. Go ahead, Dallas, take it away. Well, EcoGuard is taking advantage of the EcoCube technology and it's using what, uh, what we call EcoCube S. And um, it gives you as a professional um, the opportunity to bring in some extra revenue, recurring revenue, uh, which I always thought of as uh, retirement money. So it's something that you can uh, just get year after year if you just make a little effort uh, to go after it. Um, as an inspector, you're in a little different position than a mitigator, but that doesn't mean that this doesn't, doesn't work for you. Um, basically, it's, um, it, it's leasing uh, or providing a unit um, to your customer where um, the data then comes to your dashboard and you would be able to observe that data. And every month you can automatically go in and uh, click on the, the particular property um, and generate a report that you can email over to your client. 
uh, with your professional analysis. Now, the, the EcoCube, regular uh, EcoCube works with a, a smartphone and, and certainly someone can, um, can have one of those. It's a great product and, and we have a lot of them out across the country. Um, but that leaves the process of understanding the data and, and knowing whether to really be worried or not uh, strictly to the homeowner. Um, so this is a way where you can provide extra peace of mind by letting them know that you will provide that professional analysis and stay in touch with them, which is what you want to do because, because if you just go do that home inspection and a radon test and, and collect your money and leave, uh, you're, you're giving up the opportunity to, um, to keep that customer um, as part of your business. And the fact that you're able to communicate with them uh, with this passive revenue stream uh, gives them peace of mind. Uh, don't underestimate really the, the ability of uh, uh, this program uh, gives your, your customers to be able to feel comfortable because they know that you're looking after their property with them um, as, um, as the months and years go by. Uh, so you can charge for this on, on a monthly or an annual basis, depending on, on uh, what you prefer, and we'll get into that, um, and, and uh, uh, keep them there where uh, they're going to be happy and comfortable. Uh, they're going to want to share the information with their neighbors and family where they also will want to get uh, um, an EcoCube or an EcoCube S. Um, with, with you, your professional analysis. And that um, also opens up a revenue stream through the referral program. So it all works together. That's right. And uh, this, is, this, is where, um, this is where we, we explain a little bit more about the, the EcoCube in and of itself. Uh, Dallas, any words on this? Yeah, I want to I, I want to um, draw your attention to something that the, the photo here is the EcoCube. What makes it different um, in the case of the EcoCube S is uh, while it you, you can as the professional access it on a phone, you'll get a dashboard that's compatible with your your PC or your your iPad, whatever you like to use, and and you'll be able to see all of the units that you have out to all of your customers. And, and, and so they're in a log there where you can click on it, pull up the data. Um, you can uh, click and generate that report automatically, send it. Um, perhaps you want to communicate with them uh, some other things about their system uh, and maintenance and that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a really good opportunity um, for repeat business. And, and um, um, so you, you don't want to miss out on that. But I, I'll, I'll take a... a just a second to point this 30 uh, counts per hour per picocuri per liter. Uh, so for every picocuri per liter of radon that's being measured, the EcoCube and the EcoCube S gets 30 counts per hour per picocuri. It's two picocuries, it's gonna get an average 60 counts and, and so forth. Why this is important is if you compare that to the other two most commonly used um, uh, radon test devices out in real estate transactions and, and, and whatnot, they get uh, 2.7 counts per hour, maybe three and a half counts per hour. And, and because of that, if they miss a count from the average or, or get an extra count from the average, it throws the error for that hourly reading off by a lot because they just don't have much data to average in for each of those hourly readings. Those detectors were not designed for hourly readings. This one is. And um, uh, if, you, if you stay in touch with us, we'll even send you out some, some graphic data to show how it compares with a $10,000 instrument. Um, and how it tracks right along with it, hour by hour by hour, as long as it's left out. Um, so you, you know you're providing the best quality uh, results to your clients, and, and that should make you feel good and comfortable about um, the kind of service you're providing. Yeah, very good.
Yeah. And, and on top of that, because of the 30 counts per hour, like uh, Dallas mentioned, I mean, we, you're looking at first results in, in 10 minutes uh, and reliable results within an hour. Like, like Dallas said, nah, there's no other device on the market that could really do that. Um, and it being Wi-Fi connected, you could stick this in someone's home and, and it'll be almost invisible by just how it, just how it looks. It has a very modern look that goes with uh, any kind of interior design and, and it's very user-friendly. So um, it, it really is the best for long-term monitoring like Dallas mentioned. So um, Dallas briefly hit on the um, EcoGuard dashboard and he mentioned that the EcoCube S comes with a dashboard. So some of, some of the features, some of the key features here is that um, you, know, you get either real-time continuous monitoring mode or a 24 hour average monitoring mode, right? Um, you could go day through to year long radon trends. Uh, with the dashboard, you get rate, uh, radon level monitoring, radon report management, uh, device, customer, order and invoice managements as well, um, monthly radon reports, and even uh, notifications, whether they be push or um, email notifications. So in this, sec in this segment of the in this segment of the um, of the webinar, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you what the dashboard looks like. So here we have uh, we have the dashboard, and as you can see, you have a, a little side bar here on the left, right? Um, it, it has your your buttons to get to the dashboard, to get to your rate on reports, to order some more, to manage the subscriptions, and to create uh, and to look at your settings. So if we look at the dashboard, um, as you can see, I have four activated cubes here, right? I have one that's not, but I have, I have uh, four that are um, currently activated. Uh, it'll tell you how many uh, have gone over four picocuries per liter in, in a 30-day average. As you can see, none of them have. I'm in California, so <laughs> you don't really get too much uh, rate on out here. Um, it shows that two of my devices are out of sync, so that means I need to go, go and, and either plug them back in or reconnect them to the, um, to the Wi-Fi. And uh, here, typically every 30 days, it'll tell you which, uh, how many devices are ready to, to download the radon report, right? Uh, you'll also have your account up here with the date and, and all that. So let's, let's say I click on one of these uh, eco cubes. This is what this looks like. Top right, you have um, a radon report button where you, you click that and it'll generate a report for you. Um, you'll have your which mode the uh, device is in, right? So if it's in real time mode, you're going to get a, you know, this real time average here uh, in bold. You could also change it to 24 hour mode and you'll get the same, um, that number will change to the 24 hour average. It gives you the last 30 days average when the last time the device synced, whether the subscription is active or deactivated. And here you can go ahead and, uh, and change that. And then when you click save, everything will, will, will save automatically. Um, you also have client information, right? So once you share the information with your client, their, their email will populate here automatically. You'll have their name, when it was activated, when it was deactivated, uh, the device name, the location, and the phone number. And again, if, the, if you do need to change anything here, you can, and then click Save Changes, and it'll save. Um, as for the, the, the last column here, it's device information. You'll have the serial number, the unit setting. You can change this between Pico Curious or back rows, right? Uh, your notification threshold. So if, if you wanted to alarm you at four Pico Curious per liter, you can, or two, or 22, I guess. Um, and as long as you have push notifications or email notifications, it will let you know. And here you can go ahead and turn those on and off. Uh, lastly, you'll have, you have the firmware uh, version. And um, yeah, so now going into radon reports, this is, this is the spot where you can, you can look to see where, um, which radon reports are ready to be generated, which ones have been generated. You click on it. It'll take a couple seconds to load, and then you'll be able to see everything from um, 
you know, your information, your client's information, the serial number of your, of your device, measurement duration, the last 30 days, the lowest, the average and the highest, along with a radon trend graph, right? And the cool thing is that you can, you can see all the data points that, um, you know, from an hourly to a daily perspective. Right. And if you click save, it'll click, it'll turn it into a PDF, which is, will be ready to, to be sent uh, as soon as you, as soon as you'd like. Going. David, I, I would, yeah. excuse me. I, I would bet some of you have already run into customers that you've done tests for that uh, the rate on concentration was between two and four. And so the seller, maybe it's a real estate transaction and the seller didn't, uh, um, you know, have to pay for it in order to get the, uh, the deal done and and yet they're a little uncomfortable and uh, um, you had a 48 hour test perhaps and and so here's an opportunity where you can give that home buyer uh, some extra peace of mind uh, where right. they can actually see what it's like over the long haul and maybe maybe the issue is um, uh, when the air handler turns on uh, when they you know in the winter when they come when they when they get home and, and warm the house up uh, after work, um, that that could be something for interesting for them to see and uh, also help a mitigator if indeed uh, they they discover they really do need to have the house mitigated or they want to mitigate it because it's between that two and four. That's, and that's a great point, and I think uh, and thank you for sharing that. I I, um, I think that's a great idea, right? Um, so going back into the, into the dashboard, uh, this is the orders page, right? Here you can click on new order and you can select the quantity of how many eco cubes you'd like, shipping information, and then it'll go next to the payment methods. So you can buy everything um, and activate everything and manage your subscriptions like we mentioned earlier, all through this dashboard. And again, um, in the settings here, you can upload a picture of yourself, you know, uh, fix any, any account information details that you'd like, company information, and even change your password. So, so that in a nutshell is, is, what the, is what the dashboard looks like. So um, again, some of the benefits of, the, of using the EcoGuard, right? You develop a value added uh, service plan for your customers. It differentiates yourself actually from your fellow inspectors. Uh, grow your revenue through a sticky business model. Uh, it'll give you peace of mind as well as your customers, knowing that uh, you know, you've done a job well done and your customers are also uh, safe. You can build a long-lasting trust relationship with your clients, and you can also increase rate on awareness in your community. As we mentioned, that's one of the top problems with, with rate on is the, the lack of awareness. So... Signing up to the EcoGuard is real simple. You go to dashboard.ecosense.io to sign up. You order through the dashboard, you install, activate, and then you engage. At that point, that's when you know, your clients are, you, start, you can start sharing your radon updates with them and, and, and make sure that everything is going well. Um, so here's the, I guess the, the most important part of this, of the, this webinar, right, is what is the pricing for a professional? So basically, our, our uh, price to you is $109 for the EcoCube. Typically, the EcoCube um, that you buy it on, on our website or on Amazon is $169.99. So you'll be getting a early bird 109 pricing. Uh, if, the sooner you join, the better, right? Um, you, it'll be a monthly subscription of $4.99 a month with the first three months free. Um, EcoCube S ownership costs at the end of the of, of one year with those three months off is uh, almost one hundred and fifty four dollars for one cube. Uh, so some of the calculations come out to you know first year it'll be almost one hundred and fifty four about uh, and then and then uh, year two since you've already bought the cube the total cost for the second year will be less than sixty dollars. Here are some uh, business model ideas and examples on how to charge monthly. Uh, basically, uh, from the first uh, 12 months, again, $153.91. Uh, 
right? And then you charge the your your uh, your cl your client a ninety nine dollar startup fee plus uh, fourteen ninety nine a month to monitor the monitor their levels, right? At the end of the twelve months, you'll be you'll be making two hundred two hundred uh, seventy eight dollars and eighty eight cents gross, and then after everything is said and done, uh, you'll be making a little under one hundred and twenty five dollars uh, a month per cube so it, it's it's important to to emphasize that you know, the more volume is there the bigger your passive income is going to be here's another um another business model this one is an annual charge if you if you don't um if you don't really want to charge monthly or don't don't have the capacity to you can you can do a one-time uh yearly payment of 280 and your net profit will be $126.09. Here's another, you know, business model for the second year. Um, the second year is more profitable. You'll be uh, prof profiting about $220 uh, for the year per cube. So Dallas, what do you, what do you think about the, these business models and, and, and how to well, incorporate they're certainly them. flexible and it's something that you can um you know you can play with the numbers and adjust them this is something that um we put our heads together and thought would be reasonable um uh william sent in a, a a question on the chat that i'll address and it has to do well well you know you can buy the ecocube on amazon for 169 dollars. then why would somebody do this and that's a great question um and the and the answer to the question is is well if you get the eco cube, then then you're going to look at the levels uh, with a little graph on your phone, and you're going to be left to interpret you know well what does it mean, and um, even though it's just common knowledge to you as a professional, um, it's not to homeowners. So they're looking and they see, oh, my radon concentration got up to four picocuries per liter for a few hours. You know, should I be worried? And um, so it, it, it's a it, it's a way where what you're selling here is not only the EcoCube uh, and the ability to stay in touch with your client, but you're you're selling that professional analysis where when you send over that full report, you can uh provide something um extra with it about well okay it did this or that you know for a few hours this day or on this one day that was could very well have been due to some uh, extreme weather um uh that sort of thing um and and so it it's an opportunity for you to um to give them that peace of mind not everybody will go for it there's no question but your backup plan is you can sell them an eco cube and you can sell them an eco cube through our referral program, uh, a little less than they could buy it on Amazon, and you still get a check that's for right. that. So, so if they just say, "Well, you know, that's I'm not quite interested in spending that much money for that peace of mind," then you say, "Well, I've got a, I got another option for you." But don't underestimate the the willingness for people to pay for the peace of mind of your um, uh, expertise and oversight. It's just like when you have an HVAC um, service agreement and they come out, what do they do, you know, when they come out in the spring and the and, and the fall, you know, before your uh, biggest heating or, or cooling season, they change the filter. You could change the filter yourself. They look it over, maybe if they see that there's some rust in there, they'll vacuum it out, but there's nothing that a, that a, a homeowner couldn't do themselves. But um, the, the reason people pay for that is they like that peace of mind. Right. Right. And that's, and that's a great point. And, uh, with these business models, then you can capitalize on that. And, um, like Dallas said, these are, these are flexible. So, um, these are just some of our ideas. And I think, um, you know, a lot of you guys are a lot smarter than us and know, know the market a lot better than us. So, uh, we'd actually love to hear your feedback on, on, you know, what kind of business models you guys could think of. And I think this question is actually a great segue to this, to this next question, because that's a, that is a question that we get a lot. Um, sometimes the homeowner will ask, well, you know, what if I decide to purchase my own EcoCube, right? And, and again, like Dallas said, with our referral program, which we'll, we'll go over um, in more depth in a little bit, um, 
you can still create this revenue for yourself post uh, post inspection by selling these eco uh, eco cubes or radon eye or, or anything really um, without having to hold any any kind of inventory. So that's so William, that's a that's a great question, and and thank you for asking it. Uh, another question that we get a lot is, you know, why why should I, you know, what what do I do? What do I get if I sign up with your radon monitoring service? Right? This is a question that we hear a lot. And, and um, you know, you could say something like, if you sign up with my radon monitoring service, in addition to all the great capabilities of the EcoCube monitor, you get my expertise for setting up the device correctly, watching over your radon levels, sharing monthly radon reports, recommending mitigation professional if needed, and making and just making sure that your home is safe. So. So uh, these are the questions that, that we get and um, we definitely understand these questions. So now going into the EcoSense um, solution benefit, right? So our matching service, the EcoLink, automatically brings customers to your doorstep, is more effective than other kinds of advertising. It's easy and simple to use. Uh, the EcoTracker, which um, we haven't really talked too much about, but um, it's 40% uh, more affordable than other radon sniffers. You can test uh, four locations simultaneously on one app to monitor all four. Uh, the Radon Eye Pro, NRPP, and NRSV certified with easy report generation. The EcoGuard, generate new income, add value, and create loyal customers, and differentiate your business services to increase revenue. And finally, something that EcoSense is really, uh, this is our, our pride and joy, I guess, is the, um, the customer service. We offer fast service. We stay with you until you are satisfied. We support product training tools and uh, we're building long-term customer relationship. So, you know, we are here for you to succeed. And a little bit about EcoSense. Um, we're all about redefining radon detection and monitoring, right? Um, we were founded in uh, July, 2019. Uh, we are headquartered in San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley. So that's how we can come up with some of the um, some of the best softwares around. Uh, our we have sales channels in the U.S., Canada, and Europe. We have U.S. patented radon detection technology, and like we talked about before, we have unmatched radon performance at 30 counts per hour. Uh, some of our customers are general consumers, professionals, uh, commercial buildings, property management companies. Uh, IAQ manufacturers and HVAC systems. Uh, and EcoSense is uh, solely, solely dedicated to radon detection and monitoring technology. So that's, that's how we're able to uh, deliver mission critical radon detection perform performance as well as be able to supply award-winning radon detection and monitoring solutions like the EcoCube. Um, and again, since we're in the Silicon Valley, we're developing unique uh, software solutions that make radon monitoring services easier. Um, and here's kind of an overview of our hardware solutions. Our Radon Eye, our uh, con consumer and also professional device, which has Bluetooth connectivity, iOS and Android uh, mobile app, uh, fast, accurate, easy to use. Our EcoCube that uh, won Time Best uh, Innovations and the CES award in 2021. Um, so why the Wi-Fi enabled the one we talked about uh, earlier today, anytime, anywhere, accurate long-term monitoring. Our Radon Eye Pro for professionals, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, it has advanced remote uh, monitoring as well through another dashboard, and it has easy report generation. And finally, our EcoTracker, another professional uh, device that is Bluetooth enabled, simultaneous radon detection across multiple locations. Um, we were talking about this earlier, the, the EcoSense Referral Club. So this is a way to create um, some new revenue if you know, EcoGuard is off the table or even on the table. Um, you can increase radon awareness in your community and, and get rewarded for doing so by referring EcoSense uh, radon monitors. Uh, William asked, can radon I be used on a desktop? As in, uh, yes. Yes, I can. Um, so for the referral club, you get a unique discount code that you can give to your clients, your family and friends. 
Um, there's we're working on a new tier system with uh, silver and gold, so you can earn higher commissions the more you refer. Um, anybody using your code will receive a special discount, and you will receive your referral commission on everything sold. There's no inventory, like I mentioned earlier, um, or other kind of investment to make. You just sign up, refer your friends, and then get rewarded. And this is kind of what this is uh, another part of the of the um, new referral club program that we're that we're um, employing or deploying. Sorry, it's the 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 new landing page. Right. Basically, what we're asking for is a little space on your website, so that when people people can click on the on the on our device list uh, button, and it'll take you to a referral link landing page. Right. So this um, this landing page will have all the product information, mark, marketing collaterals like brochures, user guides, videos, and images, rate on information. Uh, people will be able to check out right away um, with your promo being automatically applied to the checkout. So uh, we do monthly payouts for everything sold from your referral link. And um, you can also check out your commission on the referral dashboard. And then uh, this is going to be the time where you guys can ask any questions. So please make sure to throw as many questions into the chat, into the Q&A section, um, and we'll try to answer as many as possible. Uh, Looks like uh, William had another question about the right on I versus the right on I Pro, and can it um, uh, gather hourly readings? Yeah, so the right on I can. Um, does give hourly readings, but the rate on iPro is the one mostly used for inspections because it is certified. It has a more robust uh, application as well as, um, as well as, what's the word? Um, generation reports, uh, report generation, right? That's, you, you can do that on the pro, you cannot do that on the rate on I. Do, uh, do they need to be calibrated yearly? Yes. The rate on I Pro is um, the only one that is calibrated yearly, and you can go, you can send those out to Bowser Mourner or KSU to be. Um, yeah, uh, that's part of the certification yeah. program or state licensing requirements. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, William. We'll we'll, we'll stay in touch. I'll definitely um, reach out to you after this, and we can we can talk a little bit more if you have any more questions. Um, we did get some questions beforehand, and. Uh, one of them was, are batteries included? No, unfortunately, uh, batteries are not included, but we have done a lot of uh, intensive research on which batteries work best with our, with our devices, and uh, we will be sending that information at the end of the webinar with, with a follow-up email, so you guys will be able to see you know, uh, which, which batteries um, can be used and, and how much they cost and, and where you can get them. I think the only one that you really need to worry about that is the, you know, the Radon I Pro. Um, the the others, you know, plug into a wall outlet. But so does the Pro for that matter. But um, uh, perhaps uh, you may run into a situation where you're placing one in a home professionally, um, the Radon I Pro, and but <laughs> and, and you have to you'll need to plug it in unless you have the, the battery. But um, <laughs> Quite frankly, when I opened up my first one and saw the, the, the amount of little cord that comes with it, um, it, it would be unusual for you not to um, be able to, to find a convenient place to put it in. Uh, it fits on a tripod um, and, and it's very, very professional looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, John uh, asking, uh, does the EcoCube S not need calibration? That's correct. The EcoCube S does not need calibration because it is not certified. Uh, okay, another question is, is it okay to use in Ohio? Yes. So we are, we are okay to use in all 50 states. Um, and so everything is good to go when it comes to uh, using our Radon I Pro in anywhere. Yeah, just to be clear, the Radon I Pro you can use anywhere in the country since it's certified um, uh, or approved by um, uh, NRSB as well as uh, NR, uh, PP uh, and the state licensing programs. Um, the others are, are come under the category of a homeowner monitor. And, um, uh, but the amazing thing, that's one of the reasons why I love this company, 
it is that the same doggone detector that gets that 30 counts per hour per picocuri is in that homeowner unit. Um, they're, they're made in the, in, in the same plant. So it's, it's, it's just so amazing to me, having been at this uh, so long, that now homeowners can get professional quality monitoring at a really, really affordable price. Okay. All right. So there's a couple more questions here. Shelby is asking any info on the EcoCube life expectancy. So what we, what we say is that it has a life of about five years, but it can be more um, and it could also be less depending on how, uh, on how rough you are on the device, right? But uh, we say about five years is, is the standard. What happens if there is no internet reception in the house? So um, if there is no Wi-Fi or any type of internet in the home, it's um, advisable not to use the EcoCube and to use um, you know, a different home monitor like the Radon Eye. Okay, last question is, what do you recommend if you're just starting a new business? So if, you, if we're just starting a new business, we do recommend um, having a Radon Eye Pro to do your inspections and then, um, and then the, uh, you know, the EcoGuard to have that um, post-inspection uh, service, so. David, who uh, asked that question about the new business? Uh, that was that was a that was a before uh, question. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, if you're doing testing um, for real estate transactions in particular, or out, you know, doing you know, at least forty-eight hour testing uh, for homeowners, then yeah, you'll want a Radon Eye Pro. Um, but uh, these other units are the kinds of um, uh, units you can you can provide to clients after the fact if you're. Uh, this particular webinar was um, intended for uh, inspectors, people doing radon inspections, home inspections. Um, uh, if any of you are uh, also have you know mitigation company or um, or looking to do that, then uh, you can really see the importance of of ongoingly monitoring the radon levels after the mitigation system is put in. And and if you're the home inspector. Uh, don't forget that the if you're uh, out doing the radon test in a real estate transaction, um, the buyer has hired you to look after their interests. And if the test um, uh, comes back high, um, um, then uh, or even if it's in that two to four range, um, you know the seller doesn't care. They're leaving. Uh, they're they're going to pay for the mitigation because they have to to get the deal done if it needs to be mitigated. If it's between two and four, then they're going to uh, skirt that responsibility. But uh, the fact that you can give them that peace of mind after the fact uh, with with, uh, with whether it's the EcoGuard or the uh, EcoCube um, gives them a way to keep an eye on on what's happening. All right. Thanks for that, Dallas. That was, that was a good uh, insight. Appreciate that. All right, everyone, thank you so much for attending the webinar. Um, we really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to, to listen to us. Uh, so if you have any further questions or, or need anything else, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, here is my contact information, uh, email and phone number. Uh, you could also see other webinars that we have scheduled and any previous webinars if you go down to ecosense.io. Scroll down, scroll down to the footer where it says webinars and you'll find everything there. Um, another thing that we're doing is right now for everybody who signs up and uh, for the EcoGuard service in July, you, you, you get a 10% off a Radon Eye Pro, the regular price $7.95. Um, you'll get a 10% off of that. So uh, go ahead and sign up to EcoGuard, buy yourselves a, a couple of EcoQBS to test it out and then get yourself a 10% off of of, of the Radon Eye Pro. So uh, thanks again, everyone. I hope you have a good evening um, and uh, be safe out there. Thank you, thanks Dallas. Everyone.